Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction Company taking a look at a Scharfschützengewehr 82, which they are going to be selling in their upcoming September of 2019 premiere auction. Now, this is an East German SSG 82, and it may surprise you, knowing how much East Germany was a model of transparency and open information, it might be surprising that we don't really know very much about these. Okay, actually we know very little about these, but um, what I can tell you is, of course, the name tells us a lot. This is a sharpshooter's rifle model of 1982. 1982 is the year that East Germany got the technical data package for the 5.45 by 39 millimeter cartridge. That was the AK-74 cartridge. And this rifle is chambered for 5.45 by 39 it uses a five-round magazine, it is bolt-action, and it's rather unusual in that it is a precision marksman's rifle, heavy barrel, you know, very much a precision-type stock, but chambered for this new lightweight intermediate rifle cartridge. So we pretty well know that these were actually man uh, manufactured for the Ministry of State Security, not for the German, the East German military, uh, and they were intended as sort of a counter-terrorism, police sniper type of rifle, which sort of explains the small caliber. This wasn't intended to be a frontline combat infantry rifle. This was more for urban areas, relatively short-range encounters, as you might expect with a police or a SWAT type team, or, you know, the East German, East German equivalent thereof. In the true East German spirit of openness and transparency, these were marked with a serial number and nothing else at all. Uh, we do know that they were actually manufactured at the Ernst Tallman plant in Seoul, uh, although not because it's actually marked on the gun. In fact, the only other marking on these is the import mark here that was applied uh, by Century to bring them into the United States. This is a simple bolt-action rifle. We have a safety located above the trigger on the right. Uh, with the button forward, it is in the fire position, note the red button in the rear, it's in the safe position, locks the trigger. The trigger pull on these is actually pretty decent. Uh, single stage, no real take up, little bit of creep, and there it goes. They do use a detachable box magazine. It's a five round magazine, although sometimes you can stuff six rounds into it, uh, patterned on the AK, or the AK-74 mag, but of course not interchangeable with an AK magazine, because this has no front locking lug like an AK, and just has a notch in the back here instead of the lug on an AK. So kind of makes sense to do that. They already had the tooling to make the feed lips and the mag bodies for those. Might as well put it in at the same time. The scope here is a pretty simple four power uh, Zeiss Jena uh, scope. It has a very simple German post style uh, reticle to it, and it is an easily detachable scope. So we have a little tab here, and if you pull that down, you can then slide the scope around like so, and lift it off. This is very much an old style uh, scope mounting method. The barrel is pretty heavy, unadorned, it has no backup iron sights to it. The stock is rather bulky uh, and large, which is nice. Uh, it gives you a good grip on the stock when shooting. This patterned area is pretty crudely done, and there's no finish to this stock at all. You can get a better, better idea of the, the wood pattern there. And the same sort of thing back at the grip. Um, it is a right-handed grip. You can shoot it left-handed, but it's intended for a right-hander. Interesting to note that the trigger and uh, a couple of little internal parts are actually made of aluminum rather than steel. And I don't know that there are any other lengths of butt pad, but this is clearly designed to be um, a butt pad that can be changed in length uh, to fit the shooter. Removing the bolt is just a matter of open the bolt, push this bolt release, bolt comes out. Uh, not a whole lot going on here. It looks like there are four locking lugs. In reality, you have two locking lugs located at the back of the bolt. And then these are just guide lugs uh, to keep the rear striker section of the bolt correctly oriented. We can take a quick look at the scope. It is serialized to match the gun underneath. You've got your attachment lugs. In the true spirit of uh, East German openness and transparency again, you'll notice there are not even any markings on your adjustment knobs. So I'm not even entirely sure which is which. 
This one will move, just barely. Um, this guy doesn't want to move at all, I think you have to loosen that up. And uh, to be honest, I don't think you're supposed to re-zero this. I think it's supposed to be zeroed for you at the factory, and then you don't touch it, because it's East Germany, and they don't trust you to do anything. The reticle here is just a basic German post, as you can see there. And that's pretty much it. The best information that I've been able to find is that a total of about 2,000 of these were made, with about 600 of them being imported by Century International Arms into the United States circa 2000. So they're a really interesting rifle. It's this really cool dichotomy of like German but also communist, where they are apparently pretty good, decent, accurate shooting rifles. Dynamite Nobel made good quality ammunition for them, as opposed to the standard uh, AK-74 ammo, which is eh for accuracy. Uh, with good ammo, they can be fairly accurate. The trigger's pretty good. The stock is terrible. They didn't even bother to finish the stocks. These were very, very crudely shaped, not the level of quality you would expect from West Germany, uh, but much more the sort of thing you might expect from East Germany. Anyway, that's the sort of thing that makes East German firearms really quite interesting. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to find out more about Rock Island and all of their upcoming stuff, you can find their uh, YouTube channel and their Instagram page linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.